So, now we will proceed towards the question number 25th ok. So, here the question is petrol is very expensive fuel ok. Petrol is very expensive fuel what do you think is the reason for this ok. Like uh, according to you what is the reason of petrol being so costly. So, uh, like see as we are discussing uh, this chapter from the beginning only we are discussing I am saying that petroleum is known as black gold ok. It runs the economy of the country or, I, or else the economy of the country depends upon the petrol and if the petrol uh, just imagine if petrol is not available ok forget about the country the effect on the country just uh, talk about the effect on your own life if petrol uh, is like you do not have enough amount of petrol with you. So, what, what will happen actually it the whole transport system your communication ok your way of uh, approaching others will be stopped because there will be no vehicle ok. So, uh, like what is the reason of being so costly whenever the thing is very important ok whenever the thing is very important very very useful and at the same time the supply is also very limited ok. Then automatically that particular thing becomes costly. So, here also when we talk about the petrol we know that this is what exhaustible fuels ok. Petrol, uh, coal all these are exhaustible fuels and in case of petrol uh, when we say uh, uh, only about the petrol we all know our vehicles run upon uh, because of the petrol. So, it is costly uh, because it is exhaustible fuel ok. We know that it is going to get over one day we have limited stock ok. Even you know the extraction that means the process by which the petrol comes uh, you know petroleum comes out and again in the refining of petrol or petroleum products it like it is very expensive ok it takes lot of money also. So, even this is one of the reason then children uh, like uh, then it is not available in all the countries ok. Uh, so, this is also one of the factors that it is not available like it is not so easy to get petrol ok. Then taxes are there ok. So, these all things it combines and it build up the cost of the petrol and due to which the, which the cost of the petrol it rises up ok. So, what are the reasons which we have discussed see maybe because of the uh, we have limited stock of the petrol it is exhaustible fuel that means we know that it is going to get over one day ok. We cannot make petrol in the laboratory ok that is also the reason that it is costly if it is so like we can make the petrol in the laboratories then the cost would have quite low because it, it becomes then renewable resources, but at present we all know petrol is non renewable resources ok. And import and export extraction takes a lot of it is expensive ok, refining is expensive. So, all these reasons make petrol very very expensive. So, let us write the answer, answer number 25th ok. Petrol is very expensive fuel what do you think is the reason for this ok. So, maybe one is extraction is time consuming and costly process. ok. Then again what can be the reason like it runs the it runs many vehicles that means what the transport system depends upon this. So, transport system 
depends upon petrol okay that means what dependence is more then it is not found equally in all countries okay then it is non renewable resources okay this is non renewable resources we cannot make it we cannot make it in the laboratories okay we cannot prepare this one we cannot prepare petrol or this in we cannot prepare it in the laboratories okay then economy of the country economy of the country depends on it due to taxes okay so all these reasons which we have discussed is responsible for the high cost of petrol so just main just extraction is time consuming and costly process it runs many vehicles Tran transport system depends upon petrol it is not found equally in all countries it is non renewable resources we cannot make it make in it we cannot make it we cannot make it in the laboratory economy of the country depends on it okay and again if you want to elaborate this one so we have limited resources yes we have we have limited stock this makes petrol very very costly i'll just rub this and write little bit properly so all these reasons make petrol very very costly now we'll move to the question number 20 this was 25th now we will move to the question number 26th now let me read the question it is said that fossil fuels will eventually get exhausted if this happens how do you think daily lives of people will be affected see that is what i was talking to you before uh, reading this question that you don't discuss about the country if you don't talk about the country in journal if we talk about personally okay like if i talk about you okay and me like if we don't have petrol then how it is going to affect our lives that is what the question is about that if you do not have petrol okay then or like what will be the changes in your life or how badly will it affect your life so what can be the effect see it will be all negative effect only one positive effect what which i can see is like we all will come to cycle and definitely it is going to uh, increase uh, you know uh, we will become more healthy that is only one uh, good thing i can see second good thing is also like uh, the pollution will be reduced okay so two positive points are there like we all will be uh, more like we will be healthier because we will be moving with the help of bicycles and second the rate of the pollution will decrease okay and 
like the all the things which are connected like global warming okay acid rains all this will come down but if we talk about uh, in a, like the negative aspect of uh, unavailability of the petrol so we can talk about like the transport system will be like we don't have then like when I am talking about petrol it is not about petrol petrol and diesel so we won't be left with any fast transport system import and export will become very very difficult okay even to transport the things from one place to another in our country itself will become very very difficult okay again we will have to move to the olden uh, methods how we used to do it earlier like uh, maybe because, uh, by you know uh, some other things like maybe use by using bullock carts and some all, all such kind of uh, things but I am very very sure before this happens uh, scientists are definitely going to find out about some alternative sources which can run our vehicle in a very excellent way properly ok. So at present the question is it is said that fossil fuels will eventually get exhausted if this happens how do you think daily lives of people will be affected. So what will happen it is 26 so communication communication means what way like transportation will become very very difficult ok. So transport system will collapse will be disturbed or collapse ok. Transport system will be collapsed or disturbed. Now what can be the second point? Rate of import and export will reduce drastically. Okay, then again will affect economy of the country in negative way ok in negative way. Okay. So, these are the reasons like transport system will be disturbed or even collapse, rate of import and export will reduce drastically. So, what will happen we would not be able to get things okay, as uh, easily as what we are getting now will affect economy of the country in negative way. There are many more reasons which you can write. Okay. Let uh, like we have discussed and uh, such kind of answers in fact you uh, people should write in your own words. So definitely there are uh, like many many points can be included in this but these are the major points and now after this you can elaborate the answer in your own words like how it is going to affect your life ok your uh, like uh, how it is going to change your life definitely when you go with school uh, by using school bus or maybe on personal vehicle. So time consumed is totally like it is very less but in absence of petrol and diesel you will have to move by some uh, vehicle like you know uh, maybe bicycle or maybe some battery uh, vehicle. So it is going to affect your life in uh, many ways. So please put up your points over here ok. So, Come to the next answer which is number 27. I will just read out the question. Compare the usefulness of coal and petroleum and effects on the environment. Like what we have to compare? We have to compare the like uh, useful like how coal and petrol are useful for us 
but again we have to compare it how it is affecting the nature okay how it is affecting our environment so how what we have to compare they are asking us to compare the good like or the how coal and petrol are useful for us okay and it is contrast with what it is contrast with how they are affecting our uh, lives in the negative way okay so children again we all know coal and petrol are exhaustible resources okay but they produce lot of energy they are very good fuels okay they run our country they run our lives okay but at the same time uh, you know they affect how they, how they affect our life because of the pollution which is being created by the fossil fuels like coal and petroleum the smoke which comes out due to the burning of coal and petroleum it affects the uh, environment okay it brings many particles in the air uh, which is very harmful for us it brings many uh, uh, gases uh, in that uh, in that atmosphere which is again very poisonous and not only poisonous but these gases also are uh, these gases are also responsible for acid rain these gases are also responsible for global warming okay so you know both the part are there one is what these uh, fossil fuels are very very important these fossil fuels are very very useful as what they are doing they are the main uh, source of fuels for the vehicles okay they okay this is a one point then they are also used like they means i'm talking about now coal coal is used i should not say they like few of the fossil fuels are used as a domestic fuel also okay it is used as a fuel in the industries these all are the very very good point these all are very important point but at the same time the effect is what the affecting our 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 atmosphere and due to this again the diseases like bronchitis asthma cancer okay uh, uh, or uh, the increase in uh, melanin and all these kind uh, of diseases okay all this comes in the existence so just let come let's come to the answer answer number 27 they are asking about the usefulness okay usefulness okay they are asking usefulness of what okay they are asking usefulness of petrol and coal so what is the usefulness of petrol and coal they are they are excellent they are excellent fuel okay they are excellent fuel then can be used in industries and even in few domestic purpose okay so what it is they are excellent fuels can be used in industries and even in few domestic purposes okay but now what is the effect negative effect okay negative part so what is the negative part children just now we have discussed it increases it increases pollution okay due to which what happens when the pollution increases many gases like many gases comes out like carbon dioxide methane sulfur dioxide all these are responsible for uh, global warming okay 
and if not for all the gases are responsible for globing, global warming they are responsible for acid rains also ok because when I talk about global warming I will talk about methane I will talk about carbon dioxide but when I talk about acid rain then I will talk about sulfur dioxide and even nitrogen dioxide. So how it affects it increases pollution which give rise to I am writing in the manner of a flow chart but you can understand it increases global warming ok due to global warming again what happened the existence of the uh, it is the earth itself comes in danger ok so it give rise to global warming this we have elaborated before so I would not be doing it now again now again it is responsible for acid rain also ok and not only acid rain but diseases also ok so how can we describe this how can we elaborate the answer what has to be done in this we have to explain the useful part of the coal and petrol. So, what are the important part what is the what is the importance of coal and petrol. So, obviously these are used as fuels they are used uh, like petrol can be also used in the dry cleaning you know and the coal it is used as a fuel in industries as well as in the domestic purpose ok. So, these these are very very important, but when we talk about negative part it creates pollution, it give rise to global warming, it give rise to acid rains ok or even you know in the mining of coal lot of pollution is created. So, obviously this is very very dangerous ok. So, both the part is there now it is upon us how to use the resources, how to uh, you know bring this thing down how to decrease the negative part and how to increase the positive part it is upon us ok. So, this was about 27th answer now we will move to the answer number 28. Suppose you are able to make a new fuel which can be an alternative to the fossil fuels what will be its characteristics ok. So, they are saying if you are so capable that you can design your own fuel you can create a fuel ok you can make one fuel. So, what are the characteristics what are the features which you want to see in that fuel or what are the features which you will be uh, keeping in mind developing or making that particular fuel ok. So, what they are asking to make the simple e uh, question easy and simple they are asking like suppose if you design a fuel by yourself what are the points what are the features what are the characteristics which you want to see in that fuel. So, this is the question which obviously you are supposed to write the answer ok, but still like uh, in journal if we want a fuel ok, if we want a uh, fuel to be designed for us. So, which kind of fuel do we want which kind of fuel do we need to have is an idle fuel ok. So, a fuel should be of what it should be smokeless ok it should be uh, it should not pollute the atmosphere and even if it is polluting it should be like not to a very lesser extent it should not be very costly it should be available easily ok it should not leave any kind of residue after it gets burned ok like when uh, we talk about coal after burning what happened ashes there, but when we talk about uh, LPG there is no uh, residue. So, that is what we want ok. So, what we want if we talk about an excellent fuel there are certain characteristics of ideal fuel which we want to be there in ok. So, what it should be? it should be smokeless ok then it should be less or uh, you know it should not create uh, it should not pollute the atmosphere. So, less or should not write less should not should not pollute the environment ok it should not pollute the environment it should be smokeless ok and 
it should be even cheaper also this one this was second point now third point should be cheaper ok what can be the fourth point do you want to get some fuel do you want to be in long queues nobody want so easily available Now, fifth point what can be the fifth point like see it is uh, it should not leave it should not leave any residue after burning ok. So, uh, and even it should produce a good amount of energy should produce good amount of energy ok. Then its boiling point should be higher than room temperature ok. So, I have discussed few points and few points this one which I have not discussed. So, what is there like it should produce good amount of energy like it should not be the case when we are burning when we are using this fuels it is not producing proper amount of energy the heat should be produced properly ok. So, the purpose should be solved the purpose is what that we are using fuels to create energy and if the energy which is being created if it is not of good amount ok then what will happen it is no use of using such kind of fuels which does not produce good amount of energy then again the boiling point should be higher than the room temperature that means what when we use uh, any fuel if it burns very easily ok if it catches fire very easily even the room temperature then what will happen it will catch fire like that only if you talk about sodium ok what happens if you keep it open uh, and if there is little amount of moisture in the atmosphere it will catch fire. So, something happens then it will be very difficult for us to use fuels ok. So, what is there our uh, fuel what we are expecting or what I am expecting you people to make it should has this characteristic that it is even boiling point should be higher than the room temperature. It is not the case that when I am saying it should be higher than the room temperature. So, it is just a difference of 1 and 2 degrees no little bit higher so that we need to burn it ok. One more point you can add to this is the ignition point should not be very high ok. That means, it should not uh, take lot of our energy to burn it ok it should burn easily also. So, what is the case that a fuel should not take lot of time to burn ok it should burn immediately as we burn it on our burning, but at the same time it should not be at the boiling point it should not be highly inflammable like say for example that is the reason why we cannot use petrol ok. Have you seen anybody using burning petrol no for the fuel purpose no not at all because it is highly inflammable. So, we cannot use it ok can we fill it in our uh, in a container and can we use it as a fuel no, we cannot do it why because it is highly inflammable. So, that is the thing which I am trying to explain you that the fuel should not be highly inflammable and it should not be like that that it takes lot of time to burn ok. So, this was our question number 28.
which says the fuel should be smokeless, it should not produce lot of uh, pollution, it should be uh, like residue should not be there, ignition point should not be very high, it should be higher means what its boiling point should be higher than the normal room temperature, it should produce energy ok and it should be easily available, it should be cheaper. If we design uh, such kind of fuel then uh, it is just mind blowing, it is very good ok, it will be sold like anything, it will be in great demand ok. So, now we we'll just move to the question, next question which is question number 29. Come to question number 29, okay. 